hello everyone welcome back once again in this video we will look at wordpress and php inside the visual studio 2019 we will try and install php and we will run the wordpress project straight from the visual studio 2019 so to get started please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't but if you have let's get to it then so so of course wordpress is a free and open source content management system written in php and paired with mysql features include a plugin architecture and a template system mostly referred to as themes so wordpress was originally created as a blog publishing system but now is used for a lot of purposes but we're not going to look too much into that as we only looking at getting started with the wordpress and php inside the visual studio so let's get to it then so as you can see i've got a visual studio open i've got the blank page open but to get started we come inside the tools and get um, extensions and manage extensions right so we we have the online bit here so we actually write a php so here we can install the php tools for visual studio 2019 it's actually in the preview so as you can see here i've got the extension installed so once you've got that bit installed then you got to make sure that you also have a mysql installed as well so if you want to be, know how to install the mysql for visual studio you can check on my channel I've, I've recently make made a video on that so you can have a look at it so if that's not the case then let's go let's get on so we come inside once we've got a php extension installed we come inside a file new project so as you can see here i've got we have the php showing up here so i've got the php selected so here we can we're going to click on from existing php code so we click on the next then we're going to leave the whole thing as default so we, we click on the create so once we click on the create we have this wizard or this dialog opened so here we can select the php i mean the wordpress folder that we want to use so i'm just going to open so to be able to install the wordpress we, we're just going to write um wordpress download so you can download it from wordpress.org but i'm not going to look too much into that as i've got it here so uh, as you can see i've got the 5.4.1 version downloaded already so what i'm going to do is extract it so i'm just gonna so we extract it we just wait while the uh, whole file extracts so it might take a while so i'm just gonna pause it while the whole thing gets sorted out so as you can see here now i've got the wordpress extracted so i'm just gonna close this bit here so we come back inside the visual studio so in, the, in this case we're just going to select the, the folder which contains the wordpress so here we're just gonna go to the download by the file that i've just this bit there we select the wordpress so we click on the finish so we get the whole thing created for us so i'm just gonna pause it while the whole thing gets started or get um processed or loaded okay so there's no need for just pause now the whole thing is loaded now so the next bit is of course is to set up our database so we come inside the server explorer so as you can i've already got a database created so i'm just going to right click it then modify so as you can see the data source is um net framework data provider for my sql so if we click on it here so as you can see i've got my sql database here so if you've actually installed the my sql for visual studio you should find it here so we select that bit here and then 
we select um, the server name, which is our local host. Then the username is WP, a WordPress user. And then the password. So now we can test it. So as you can see, we've got the test connection seeded. So we can select a database if we've created one, or we can just type in the database and it will be created automatically. In this case, I've created this database. So we're just gonna click it, it's empty. So there's nothing inside the database. So I'm just gonna click OK. So now we've got the database open. So as you can see, yeah, there's no tables inside the database. So the next bit here yeah, is we can actually try to run this bit here. So as you can see, yeah, there, there doesn't seem to be a WP config file. So this is how we can sort it out. We're just gonna stop the, the debugging. Yeah, so we come inside the w, WP config sample we open it so here we're just gonna rename this file we're just gonna remove the sample and and call it just WP config so here we're gonna make some changes we're gonna set us our, our details so the database name we're just gonna put the real database name that we've created so mine was um, WPDB, that's a WordPress database. So the username for the database, so WP user, and the password for the database and then the host. So this is the details that you're gonna need. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pause it and write the password and then we come back again to it. So once you put your password, then we'll be able to run it so we're just going to click on the web the f5 or, or run so now we should have something popping up so as you can see here uh, the page this page isn't working localhost redirected you too many times so if you get this error what you're going to do is we're just going to remove this bit here the x debug section and uh, we're just going to make it simple this we're just gonna use this um, link now we can refresh it so as you can see here now we've got the WordPress working now so we can click on the com continue so we can call the site YouTube then the username YT user then the password we're just gonna leave it as it is So we're just gonna put any any email for the video site. So the next bit is of course we click on the install WordPress. So we've we've actually had a second step of the installation. So we click on the login. So here we can log in with the details that we used. So now as you can see here now we've got the WordPress fully installed. So if we come inside here, we can go ahead and modify, start modifying the, the, the files. You can write your own plugins and themes inside the Visual Studio. So as you can see, it's not really difficult to get the whole thing up and running once you've got all the necessary configuration sorted out so i'm gonna leave the video here and i hope this actually helped you to explore the wordpress and php fever inside the P inside the visual studio 2019. so if you still haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do and have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.